Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, coming with you with a quick update here, nothing too formal. Uh, I just want to let you know about what's going on in Canada when it comes to our gun laws. So, some of you may know that we have banned all our handguns from being uh, sold, traded, or purchased here in Canada. Sorry, that's my rabbit running around. And uh, that's quite disappointing, but a uh, relatively permanent problem, unfortunately. It's been passed by Bill C-21. Uh, but what's the biggest problem we're having right now is when it comes to things like the uh, the um, quote-unquote assault rifles, uh, which I do believe are a real thing, but uh, this ban surpasses that by far. Uh, so right now in Canada, we're not allowed to take our AR-15 types, um, AK-47 uh, look-alikes, uh, M14s, M705s, uh, Mini-14s, and anything with 10,000 joules, which would include a 50 cal. Uh, out of our safes. We're not allowed to shoot them. We're not allowed to bring them to the range. We're not allowed to sell them We're not allowed to trade them. We just can't do anything with them at all and uh, This was not passed by legislative. This was passed by um, Pierre Trudeau himself in a unilateral move without any sort of um, uh, Vote or a sanction in, in Parliament the way it's supposed to be done. He just made a unilateral executive decision to ban these things so that, that was back in 2019. He did this during COVID, uh, which was not accidental, but unfortunately political as well. So that was supposed to be one year, and they're supposed to buy back the firearms. So 2019 turns into 2022, and there's still no buyback. There's not even a price listed. Um only recently they started buying back fire, fire, firearms off of companies uh, that had in stock. But when it comes to civilians, if you have anything, it's locked in your safe and it stays in your safe. And the thing that's most frustrating of all, they've extended this now from 2020, from 2019 to 2022 to 2022 to 2023 to 2023 to 2025 now. So we're left in limbo and some of us may have one, some of us may have none, some of us may have... 5, 10, but regardless, our property, our assets are on hold uh, based on a non-democratic process. And that's what bothers me most. It's not so much the firearms. I don't believe in Canada we have a right to firearms, but I do believe in Canada everybody has a right to legal process and political democratic decisions, not unilateral autocratic decisions, which is what Trudeau has been doing. Um, on a personal note, I just don't like Trudeau. I've heard stories about him before he was... Uh, Prime Minister, back when he was working with Parliament, I've had friends working in Parliament um, talking about his temper tantrums, which I won't go into any detail here, but you can look at his his uh, position when it comes to the world. He's been um, really just upsetting anybody and everybody. The most recent is India with the allegations of murder, um, which may or may not be true. I don't know. I don't have the information. He does or he doesn't. Either way, he's not releasing it if he doesn't have information. So, all in all, I'm just upset with the political process. I'm very upset with liberals using things like firearms as a political um, prop. Sorry, I'm watching my rabbit go crazy over here. Sorry, guys. Getting distracted. So, I'm going to cut this short. Um, I'm very upset. It leads to the slippery slope argument where if you vote for something like I don't want straw purchasers, that means I don't want any guns. Uh, I, I, yeah, frustrated to say the least, financially very stressed, and I just hope this comes to an end, and I hope this is a lesson for people in the democratic countries where democracy isn't always what it seems, and that's what has me more upset than anything else. It's not the firearms, like I said, I don't believe we have a right to firearms in Canada. We don't have a second amendment. Um, firearms are a necessity for survival in parts of Canada, uh, which we, I do believe we do have a right to survival, but it gets much more complicated. I can go on for two, three hours and maybe someday I will, maybe I'll do a lecture somewhere and, and we'll discuss that further. But for now, um, just giving you guys in Canada an update and around the world, how things go in, in the U S yes, the slippery slope argument is a real argument and, um, watch out for your rights, but also um, be polite and be understanding of other people's point of views when it comes to gun violence and, um, and the problems that it causes in communities. All right, be responsible, stay safe, 
keep the guns pointed downrange and away from everyone else. Take it easy, guys. Um, yeah, I don't think you're going to like this because I know I don't like it. But anyways, please like and subscribe if you're interested in this content. And if you're interested in the other content I have online, please take a look at that too. Thank you and have a great day.